Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel GSIPUC Mysuru. Today is the second session of the fourth chapter that is feedback in amplifiers. In the last session, we discussed the basics of this feedback in amplifier. That is, we saw what exactly is the meaning of an uh, feedback. So feedback is nothing but the process of taking a small portion of the output and giving it back to the input is called as the feedback. So for a feedback amplifier or for a feedback network, we need two separate blocks. One is a basic amplifier, the other one is a feedback uh, network. So the, uh, the gain of a basic amplifier network is A and the gain of a feedback network is beta. We also saw uh, what exactly is the meaning of open loop network and a feedback network and the gain of an open loop network is denoted by A whereas the gain of a closed loop network is denoted by AF. We also saw the different types of feedbacks, one is the positive feedback, the other one is the negative feedback. So what is this positive feedback? Positive feedback increases the net input of the input signals. That is, we are going to take the feedback in such a way that it increases the net input of the amplifier circuit. Here in the positive feedback, the input as well as the output signal will be in phase with each other. Coming to the net negative feedback network, the feedback will be taken in such a way that the actual input signal or the net input signal will decrease. Then we can also define this negative feedback network as the input and the output signal will be out of phase with each other. In the last session, we also saw the advantages, disadvantages and applications of this positive feedback network and the negative feedback network. So, in today's session, we will be seeing the four different types of the negative feedback network. So, let us begin with this today's session. Different types of negative feedback. So there are four different types of negative feedbacks and four different types of negative feedback are voltage series negative feedback. First one. The second one is voltage shunt negative feedback third type is related with current current series negative feedback and the last type that is the fourth type of this negative feedback is current shunt negative feedback. How these negative feedbacks are classified? So how we are going to talk about these different types of feedback network? In the feedback network, I can either take the output voltage or the output current and give it back to the input signal. That is both the voltage as well as current can be fed back into the input signal in two different ways that is in series or in parallel. So accordingly what we are taking as a output and how we are connecting it back to the input that is either I am connecting in the series connection or in the parallel connection. Accordingly we are going to classify these negative feedback networks as voltage series negative feedback voltage shunt negative feedback shunt is nothing but parallel connection as i have already told you voltage or the current can be fed back into the in input signal either by connecting that signal in series with the input signal or in parallel with the input signal parallel and the held naga we are going to call that term as shunt so voltage series negative feedback voltage shunt negative feedback current series negative feedback and current shunt negative feedback. Now let us see all these four types of negative feedback circuits separately. Let us first see the voltage series negative feedback. So voltage series 
series negative feedback let me write it in short as nf so for every feedback network or for every we need one basic amplifier block and the feedback network so here is a basic amplifier block which is having a gain of a and here we'll be having a feedback network which is having a gain of beta negative sorry voltage series negative feedback whenever we want to measure the voltage we have to connect the voltmeter across the terminals so here we'll be having a load resistor let me denote that load resistor as rl and the voltage across this load resistor is nothing but v not that is the output voltage so i told you whenever we want to measure the output voltage we have to connect the voltmeter across the terminals that is we have to connect in parallel so i want to extract the voltage voltage series negative feedback voltage series and we are taking a portion of the output voltage and connecting it back to the amplifier in series so if i want to extract the output voltage i have to take the output voltage in this manner i have to extract the output voltage from these two terminals so i am extracting the voltage and connecting it back to the input if i am going to consider this as the input signal that is vs then that feedback voltage must be connected to the basic amplifier in this manner where this is the input voltage which is denoted by vi so this voltage series negative feedback will be having a block diagram like this it contains a basic amplifier which is having a gain of a e, and a feedback network gain which is beta i want to extract the voltage so we are going to uh, extract the output voltage through this manner and connect that in series with the input signal so it is called as voltage series negative feedback these voltage series negative feedback networks are also called as shunt derived series fed feedback network i am extracting the voltage so i am extracting the voltage in parallel so shunt derived and i am connecting that portion of the output voltage in series with the input signal or in series with the amplifier so it is series fed feedback network so this is one of the types of uh, the negative feedback network that is voltage series negative feedback now let us see the block diagram of voltage shunt negative feedback again for this i need two separate blocks one is the basic amplifier block which is having a gain of a and a separate block which is called as the feedback network which is having a gain of beta and the load voltage or the output resistance is denoted by rl and v not is the output voltage what we are getting here i am having the input signal vs so again it is a voltage shunt negative feedback anth helidre i am extracting the voltage from the output signal that is i am taking a small portion of the output voltage so i have to connect that in shunt or in parallel like this and that feedback signal must be given to the basic amplifier in the shunt manner in the shunt manner anth helidre i have to connect the feedback signal like this here the current is will be flowing this is vi 
This is the actual way of connecting the feedback network uh, into the basic amplifier. That is, we are measuring, we are, we are extracting the output voltage. So, I am using this shunt method and with the help of this feedback network, I am connecting that output voltage into the input voltage in shunt. So, the uh, diagram will be like this, but in a textbooks, instead of this Vs, here we will be having the input signal which is named as I n. So, this voltage shunt negative feedback networks will also be called as we are extracting the output signal from the load parallelly and we are giving that feedback signal to the input parallelly. Parallelly that is nothing but shunt. So, this voltage shunt negative feedback is also called as shunt derived because I am extracting the output voltage from the load resistance RL in parallel and applying that back to the input in the shunt manner. So, shunt derived shunt fed feedback. So, this voltage shunt negative feedback is also called as shunt derived shunt fed feedback. So, this voltage series negative feedback is also called as shunt derived series fed feedback whereas that is shunt derived shunt fed feedback. Now, let us see the other two types of this feedback that is negative feedback network. Let us first see the current series negative feedback. So, again for this current series negative feedback network, generally we need two separate blocks. One is a basic amplifier block which is having a gain of A and the other one is the feedback network <coughs> which is having a gain of beta. And here we will be having a load resistor. So, in order to measure the current in any of the circuit, we have to connect the ammeter that is a meter which is used to measure the current. We have to connect the ammeter in the series with the circuit. So, what we are going to do is this is a load resistor which is denoted by RL and the voltage across this RL is denoted by V0 which is nothing but the output voltage. But I told you that in order to extract the output current, what we have to do is here we are feeding the output current back to the input. So, this must be connected in series. So, we are going to draw the diagram in this manner and the current which flows through this is denoted by I naught that is nothing but the output current. Here, I will be having a voltage source which is denoted by Vs and this output current must be connected in series with the basic amplifier circuit. So, the diagram will be like this. The input voltage is Vi and the current which flows here is IF. So, <coughs> this is the basic block diagram of a current series negative feedback. Whenever I want to measure the current in any of the circuit, we must connect the ammeter or we have to measure the current in series with the circuit. So, we are extracting a small portion of the output current and giving that back to the basic amplifier circuit in series. So, this current series negative feedback ne series derived series derived and how I am extracting the current? I am extracting the current in series, series derived and I am feeding it back to the input through series. So, series derived, series fed feedback network. So, this is the current series negative feedback network. Now, let us see the last type of uh, negative feedback network that is current shunt negative feedback. So, again here I will be having two different blocks. One is a basic amplifier block 
which is having a gain of A and a feedback network which is having a gain of beta. Here I am connecting a load resistor RL current I am taking a output current the voltage here measured across the load resistor is V0. Since I am feeding back the outputs current to the feedback network I have to connect or I have to extract the current in output current in series here I will be having I yes and that must be connected in shunt back to the input so I will be drawing the diagram like this so here the voltage is Vf so current shunt negative feedback I am going to extract the output current and connect it back to the basic amplifier in parallel so I am using this method in order to connect the feedback network back to the basic amplifier network so this current shunt negative feedback network is also called as series derived series derived because I am extracting the current so it is a series derived shunt fed feedback network shunt shed feedback so current series negative feedback network is also called as series derived series fed feedback network whereas the current shunt negative feedback is also called as series derived shunt fed feedback network in all the way, uh, feedback networks beta will always be equal to vf divided by v naught which is nothing but the feedback ratio or the feedback factor or the feedback fraction so we saw all the four different types of negative feedback network in my next session i'll be coming with a new topic until then take care bye bye